Hey guys, uh, you missed me? Yeah, just got home from my second to last gamma knife treatment. Um, went well, it was long, two hours on the table. Um, you know, can't really complain, I guess. It's they're treating my tumors, so anyway. So what's it like? Everyone's been asking what's the gamma treatment like? So essentially what they do is strap you down to the table using a mask so your head's immobilized. Yeah, I'll show you. A mask like this goes over my head and it clamps down so my head is completely completely still. The issue I have is uh, when I swallow it moves the mask a bit and sometimes as you move there's an infrared tracker that tracks your movement and if you move it stops the, the machine, it kicks you out, it recalibrates, it scans everything and puts you back in. So what should be an hour on the table or so could turn into two hours the more you stop it. So that's what it's like. You lay there perfectly still with your head back and you don't move or try not to swallow too hard and it's over and I I have my music playing with me. I brought a Bluetooth player with me and so it's not too bad. Like I get to sit there and relax. Sometimes I doze off. Um, I'll show you a short clip of how they, they set it up. I'll put that in the video. Test it. Uh, not just yet. Oh, oh, okay. oh, sorry. We're going to put this on, okay? So come up just a tad. Just pushing my nose. Can you come up the bed just a little bit? Good. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put the sticker on you now. Mm -hmm. Can you just test the button? Perfect. So what's side effects like? So far I haven't had any side effects, which is uh, amazing. Uh, normally you can have like fatigue and nausea and stuff, but I haven't experienced anything bad. So it's going pretty well. There's one session left tomorrow. They have to make a new mask for me because they're treating a portion of the brain that the machine couldn't reach with the current mask. So now my head is even further back and they're going to treat that one tomorrow. It's going to be uncomfortable because it pushes your neck back like this and you got to stay like that for half an hour. But it's not too bad. It's You get to lay there for an hour, you can, have an, you can close your eyes. But if you doze off, like I did a couple times, sometimes you jerk around when you, when you doze off and it kicks the machine, the machine stops and then it has to restart the calibration process that it takes it takes even longer uh, 
So while I'm doing this treatment with the gamma knife, I had to discontinue my cancer pills that I usually take. The issue with that is I haven't taken a cancer pill or the chemotherapy drug since last Wednesday. So there could be new growths going on while I get this sorted out. Hopefully not. Uh, last time with the radiation there was some new growth but then the drug uh, took care of it. Hopefully the drug takes care of it this time. The other issue is the drug is supposed to work in the brain and the rest of my body but clearly it wasn't working in the brain hence the gamma knife but hopefully it's still working in the rest of my body they don't know for sure if it is or not so I see my oncologist on Monday and we'll get an update and maybe do another scan and see if it's spread and if we have to switch to a different drug hopefully not I, I hate switching these drugs but I'm really hoping this drug keeps working. Uh, the other drugs that I'm on, there's a steroid called dexamethasone and it's it's dexamethasone is really nasty. It causes it causes muscle wastage. So I gotta keep moving to keep my muscle mass or else the like you, you lose it. And last time I was on it for a while I I couldn't stand up because my legs were so weak. So, so far so good. I'm walking more. I'm walking a lot actually. I'm trying to do a minimum 2,000 steps a day. That's not a lot for most people, but for me it's quite a lot. But I've been averaging around 4,000 a day. and That's not too bad for a guy who just stays at home and goes to the hospital and back. So it's not bad. The other issue with this drug is it causes blood glucose and blood sugar spikes. So essentially I'm living a type 2 diabetic lifestyle. So I gotta watch my blood sugar, I poke myself four times a day before every meal, and I take my, my blood sugar reading, and if it's above a certain value, in this case 10 mmol per liter, it I have to take insulin shots. So I have, in addition to my blood thinner shots that I take, now I'm taking insulin shots. So at night I take a baseline drug called Lantus and during the day if my blood sugar spikes I take a corrective insulin drug called Hemolog. So between those two you try to find a balance where you don't need the Hemolog during the day so you find the right dose of Lantus at night because Lantus is a long-lasting 24-hour drug and the Hemolog is short-lasting really to keep your, your sugars low. So for all the diabetics out there, if you have any tips for me to keep my blood sugar down, I'm happy to, to listen. <laughs> the, the hope is after you're off the steroid, which I'll taper off the steroids starting next week that your blood sugar levels return to normal and that's my hope but it can take a long time before that happens and I hope there isn't permanent damage to my endocrine system so I hope that I get back to a normal well a junk food binging eating lifestyle but I'll do whatever it takes so what's next? I see my oncologist on Monday and we talk about whether the drug's working and if there's another drug I, I should be taking. Tapering off the, the steroid. The last time I tapered off the steroid, I tapered off too quickly and I ended up in the emergency room. So hopefully this time it's not as bad. Last time I was on 16 milligrams of steroid a day, which is like the highest dose you can do. Right now I'm 12 milligrams a day and the plan is next week Tuesday we're going to reduce it by 4 milligrams to 8. Uh, so hopefully that goes well. The One of the side effects of this gamma knife is as you kill the cells in the brain that causes the tumors, 
you could have cell necrosis around it as well and your immune system pretty much comes in tries to clean it all up and that can cause swelling and if the swelling can be asymptomatic or it could be symptomatic and the swelling can cause nausea and, and uh, you know other side effects so if that happens we'll have to go back to the steroid to reduce the swelling and then the steroid also compromises your immune system so you're more likely to catch little colds and stuff and I have two little kids who are, are always sniffly and coming home from school with germs so. but I can't avoid them because I love them so I deal with it I haven't been sick yet so far so good so thanks for everyone all the suggestions for my playlist that's it I'm good I'll make a blog post and put it below you can read all about it that's it for now take care